32 years have passed since the Great War. The Shivans vanished half a lifetime ago. And now, we live in the mausoleum of history. We inherit the legacy of ghosts who haunt these ruins. The elders call us the Lost Generation. I remember stories of a glorious civilization, of cities with spires that reached the sun, of a blue planet with vast seas, of people with myths of humanity everlasting. of children who saw in the embers of dying stars the destiny of their race. And they hurled themselves into the void of space with no fear. They say our people have no present filled with horror. And a future they can only dream of. Now we forge a new alliance to guard the tomb of space and find within its cold expanse the salvation of our race. And with that, welcome back to Free Space 2. A few minutes late, but hopefully that won't be a problem. Where we left off last week, the GTD Aquitaine is in trouble, and it's up to us to save them from the Sheevans. I have heard this mission can be pretty difficult, but hopefully we'll be alright. At 3320 Pursuit in Galactic Time, we received a distress signal from the GTD Aquitaine. The destroyer came under attack 4,000 meters from the Gamma Draconis jump node. The SC Urobach and its fighter escort incapacitated the Aquitaine's engines and fighter bay. Admiral Petrock reports that his gunners destroyed the Urobach and all but one of the fighter wings. With the entire Shivan Armada now heading for Terran Vesudan space, we must get the Aquitaine out as soon as possible. Your mission is to defend the Aquitaine until its propulsion systems are restored. A damage control team is currently en route from Gamma Draconis. 
The GTC Agrippa, an Aeolus class warship, escorts the Argo transport carrying the team and the components needed for the repair. When the Argo arrives, your objective will be to ensure it docks safely with the damaged destroyer. The Aquitaine's engineering officer estimates that once the damage control team arrives with the required materials, the repair will be accomplished in a matter of minutes. However, this provides the Sheevan sufficient time to launch additional wings and threaten the Aquitaine. Alright, let's see what ships we have available. We're still in Vizudan ships. Interceptors, I think I'm gonna put them in charge of shooting down bombs. I'm gonna put my guys in heavy fighters, and our job will be to kill the bombers. Alright, let's see what weapons these things can use. We know what the heavy fighters can use, we've used them several times. they defaulted to these. I guess they just want to make sure that I'm paying attention and actually equipping loadouts, because if I don't, I'll be punished for it. I'm not sure how well it'll work on those guys, because they can only carry five of them. Let's see. supported by a capital ship. Its fighter bays are down, and its drives are down, but if it blew up another capital ship, its guns are still working.
It may be a silly plan, but I'm gonna give it a try. If it doesn't work out, we'll retry the mission. Command, this is Alpha Wing. We are now in position. One wing of Mara fighters in range. Designation, Ares. Alright, make sure I issue orders. Negate the Maris, Alpha. Secure this area on the double. Wait, where's Beta Wing? It's up to you. Thank you for your assistance, Alpha Wing. The Argo should be here in under five minutes. Subspace. Alpha, this is the Aquitaine. You take care of the fighters, we'll worry about the Abaddon. Destroy its beam turrets if you get the opportunity. momentarily. This is the 
the GTC Agrippa. We're now in position, Command. The Argo is under attack. Alpha, cover that transport or we'll lose the Aquitaine. Reading hostile indicators. Acknowledged. Aren't the Abaddon still not gone down yet? The Aquitaine just not firing on it. this without tag missiles because apparently they don't work. Very disappointing. Apparently it'll be a while before Beta Wayne actually shows up, which is also disappointing. So let's make it work. Command, this is Alpha Wing. We are now in position. One wing of Mara fighters in range. Designation, Aries. Negate the Maris, Alpha. Secure this area on the double. Thank you for your assistance, Alpha Wing. The Argo should be here in under five minutes. Acknowledged. has emerged from subspace. Sensor range. Alpha, this is the Aquitaine. You take care of the fighters. We'll worry oh, about the Abaddon. Destroy its beam turrets if you get the opportunity. Come on, get him. Get him in sensor range. The ready of fighters can leave Alpha Wing on defense. Whoa, that was a good shot. We must 
must evacuate all non-essential personnel. Stand by to deploy escape pods. That's a confirmed kill. Still lost All escape away. pods have jumped out safely. Transport will emerge from subspace momentarily. is going to have a lot of retries. All right, first of all, Alpha Wing, I need you to... Command, this is Alpha Wing. We are now in position. One wing of Mara fighters in range. Designation, Ares. Acknowledged. Negate the Maris, Alpha. Secure this area on the double. Thank you for your assistance, Alpha Wing. The Argo should be here in under five minutes. Beam to 
it. It's on the broad side of the ship. Oh, that's why, despite being left on defense, they still charge straight at the Abaddon. That's why the two of them died. Essential personnel, stand by to deploy escape pods. I think he got blown up by his own bomb. Hey, Doc, thank you for joining us. Just now saw the message there. As you can see, things are uh, very tight right now. Surviving escape pods have jumped out safely. All right. 46% health, not too bad. The most important part is we still have all of Alpha Wing alive. Where are those bombers? Transport will emerge from subspace momentarily. Actually, this guy probably needs two trebuchets to take down. I remember him, he's sturdy. This is the GTC Agrippa. We're now in position, Command. Push the harpoons. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. Enforcement wings yet. Who's gonna? Uh, damn it. Off of two. Argo. By your command. Off of three. Argo. By and we have one guy in the Aquitaine. We're just gonna have to stretch ourselves thin. Reading hostile indicators. Support ship now. Please stand by. Where's the Octane? I don't want to get too far from it. Alright, hopefully my wingman will take care of those three ships. Ah, shit. The Argo is under attack. Alpha, cover that transport or we'll lose the Aquitaine.
This is the Aquitaine. On, All integrity has fallen below critical. Oh, we no. need more fighters out here or we're not going to make it, Command. Damn right we need more fighters. You should have sent them sooner. Where the hell is Delta Wings? Procedure complete. By your command. That's, you know, if they had sent those fighters a lot sooner, that we would have, have lost the Aquitaine. Oh, All units return to base. Mission aborted. Hmm. I'm going to be fighting the mission script as much as the Sheevans. No, I can't call in the reinforcement manual. Wing. We are now in position. All right. One wing of Mara fighters in range. Designation Ares. Acknowledged. Negate the Maris Alpha. Secure this area on the double. Thank you for your assistance, Alpha Wing. The Argo should be here in under five minutes. You fight like a bassoon. Enforcements Alpha, stand by. This is Delta Wing. What's your status? Roger that. Well, I guess the Aquitaine will have to take care of the less of that health. nullify the Abaddon.
Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. All escape pods have jumped out safely. Man, I could really use Beta Wayne right now, though. We need more ships. Transport will emerge from subspace momentarily. This is the GTC Agrippa. We're now in position, Command. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. Under attack. Alpha, cover that transport or we'll lose the Aquitaine. Deploying support ship now. Please stand by. Bandits incoming! I don't have enough ships to split between the Aquitaine and the Argo. I can't defend them both. Hmm. Hopefully the Agrippa will defend the Argo, I guess. I can just keep everyone on the Aquitaine. Docking sequence. We're almost oh, we've lost all of Alpha Wayne, but we're sort of doing better. They threw a lot at us. This is the Argo. We have secured our dock point. Materials are now being transferred to the Aquitaine. What's your status, Aquitaine? Repairs are 50% complete. Core module has been replaced. We are now running diagnostics. I like how the students are like, yeah, we've got a whole extra fighter wing we could throw at this, but we won't. Not unless we get really close to losing. Command, this is the Aquitaine. Engines are back online. Setting course for the Gamma Draconis jump note. ETA four minutes. Good work. Agrippa, we need to pull you out. Proceed immediately to the Gamma Draconis node. Roger that, Command. Good luck, Aquitaine. Agrippa out.
jump signature. Hostile configuration. with the missiles this time around. This is why I usually like to bring a ship with a large missile capacity. Bandits incoming! Oh god damn it, all of Delta Wing died. Can you please deploy? What the what's this? Oh no, I seem to have hit a button and I don't know what I hit. Oh, okay, fixed. Find where that button is and unbind it though. Check your sex! I do not need that right Check now. your sex! Command, we are 2,000 meters from the Gamma Draconis node. ETA, one minute. Alright, I could. Now that I can control my ship again. Unfortunately, I'm now badly outnumbered. Why can't I... Epsilon here, ready to engage. Why can't I change my weapons? Somehow, my ability to change weapons is disabled. Please give us permission to jump out. Well done, Alpha. Return to base. Early before those missiles get here. Goodbye, Sheevans. Because of your actions, the GTD Alpha team safely reached the Gamma Draconis system. The damage to the vessel's fight bay and targeting system is now being repaired. Assuming your tactical command has informed us you are to be transferred immediately to the GTD Aquitaine for your next assignment. You will serve as leader of the Elite 7 of the Wing Lions. Loadout was However, entirely irrelevant because they only get deployed when the, the Aquitaine is commanded. The Aquitaine is from the pilot. For your exceptional service to the crown of Emperor Kanzo II, heir of a dynasty of 10,000 years, you are hereby inducted into the Imperial Order of Asuda. Rarely is this honor conferred upon those of your species. Congratulations, Terran. Oh, these guys again. Alright, let's see what the spooky guys want.
You have been selected for a covert assignment with Special Operations Command in conjunction with Galactic Terran Vasudan Intelligence. I'll figure that out later. Our primary objective is to provide the Alliance with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTVA. At 0437, reconnaissance units received a coded transmission from Lieutenant Commander Snipes. The commander's vessel, the NTT Graal, is now adrift in a Shivan-infested region of the nebula and will not survive much longer. The Graal was docked to the NTC Alexandria when the cruiser ran our blockade of the Nosos portal in Gamma Draconis. I thought Snipes' cover got blown. What's he still doing? Here is part of the actual transmission. We processed the message. I guess to the guy's such a good spy. He just went and got another disguise. Granite Mountain, this is Black Dove requesting immediate extraction. Engines and jump drives are inoperative. Location Delta 429er by 372. Deployed Pharos beacons to assist search. Heavy Sheevan presence. Severe nebula storms. Probability of survival not good. As you know, Allied forces are in full retreat to Gamma Draconis, so logistical support will be virtually non-existent. We have no available reinforcements and only one recovery ship. We're operating in a Sheevan infested area, so expect a fierce enemy offensive. The odds are against you on this one, pilot. Well, here we go. Let's see what options we have. You know why you're here, pilot, so let's get down to work. Recon located a Pharos navigation buoy not far from where Snipes' transmission was received. Your wing will be inserted at that position to find the Grawl and make contact with Snipes. His transport has been incapacitated, and there's a high probability he's already a goner. This sector of the nebula is extremely volatile. Recon reports heavy EM interference, scrambling sensors and communications. These buoys are the only chance we have of finding Snipes and the Grawl. The EM storm will make aspect lock difficult to acquire and maintain, oh, that's so we neat. recommend you load out with Tempest and Rock Eyes. Once you locate Snipes, call in Lambda-1. This is critical. Do not deploy the recovery craft until you are ready. Our transport will dock with the Grawl and extract the survivors. You'll need to buy them some time as they complete this procedure. Good hunting. Flying the Irenyes. Which does have the rather nice feature of eight gun mounts. Having to rely on rock eyes is going to be a pain to Here we go. You get so few of them, and they suck. They do so little damage. And that's if they even hit. This thing can use Maxims. Uh, it can also use the Kaiser, which does good damage to everything, but it's short range. Maxim would probably be surprisingly funny at picking turrets off of ships from a long way away. Because they don't have shields anyway. We're gonna bring this thing. We're gonna make sure everyone has them. I should call their bluff and bring an aspect lock missile just to see if it works. It would be funny if they're like, oh yeah, we actually didn't bother to code those being disabled. We would we hoped you would just believe the briefing. useless rock guys are, it's not like it really makes that much of a difference. 
whether these things function or not. Recon wasn't kidding when they called this a volatile sector. Pilots, we need trigger any scripts or anything. Let's go on down to it. 
locked onto it. And we've got more shavings. Oh, okay, guys. Oh, I guess the AI is just gonna kill me very quickly. Damn, look at him go. This is why I equip everybody with this gun. labeled in the order you have to follow them in.
like OP wingmen just go to town on them. Where are we at? That's what we're Alright, so it looks like Beacon 1 is always in the game, so I just want to go to the dark. Now they're friendly. Oh, NTT Grawl, this is GTBA Special Hopefully Operations Command. Weapons. We are here to recover your craft. Do you copy? Roger that, SOC Snipes here. Much obliged. Hope you brought a transport. Oh, that's a small one. You're lucky we found you, Snipes. Uh, oh, no, 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 exploded everything. How many survivors? Hold on, I need to lock onto the thing. Seventeen of us made it to the transport. Shockwave banged us up pretty bad. Calm and life support were all we had to work with out here. What about the nav buoys? The Alexandria deployed them. We couldn't rely on navigation or sense. Do you mind if I... Do you mind if I... We're trying to get plot here. Well, I guess we're not going to hear it. Transport when you're ready, Alpha One. All right. I say again, call in the transport when ready. died when all those bombs exploded. That's gonna make this a lot harder. Survivors are on board, sir. Release docking point now. Oh, bad timing. Extraction complete. Return to base. Congratulations, pilot. You saved my life, and I owe you big. If I had more clout with the brass, I'd have them give you a service medallion, but they don't just hand those out. You didn't have to volunteer for this assignment, but I'm damn glad you did. Now here's an important lesson. SOC didn't mount a rescue op because they liked me. They did it because I had information they needed, and information is what keeps you alive out here. Now I'm heading up the 99th for another mission, and I think we're going to need you on this one. I already cleared it with command, so it's your call, pilot. Hope you do the right thing. Here's the situation. Allied Command has ordered the full retreat of all GTVA forces. They've ridden off Gamma Draconis, so they're moving the Armada into Capella to hold down the system. 
Meanwhile, SOC needs a unit to fly suicide to check out a second Nasos device the Vesudans found deep in the nebula. To give us a fighting chance, our unit will fly a wing of Shivan fighters SOC forces captured early in the Nebula campaign. Our engineers have modified and optimized these craft. They'll handle even better than the Shivan original, and if you play it right, you might even avoid enemy detection. We're going in with a hand-picked squad. You'll fly Alpha-1, I've got Alpha-2. Two. two of our top pilots, Zinni and Zero, will cover Alphas 3 and 4 respectively. Our Maras will be equipped with inter-system jump drives so we can use the node. <laughs> the timetable for this mission is 15 minutes. We'll jump in, gather data, hold down the fort, then jump out. Your drives will be an operative inside a window yeah, of Terran exactly 15 seconds. Space two, uh... If we miss our jump, the recovery ship will leave us behind. There's no room for error. Is very ruthless and not sentimental at all. Here's something else to think about. By the time we launch, we'll be the only Allied operatives left in the Nebula. There'll be no reinforcement, no support, and no base to run to. That's why this mission has to be carried out by the numbers. We have 15 minutes. No more, no less. So, we're going to be disguised as Shivans. I assume this means we can't pick anything. Pick our guns. Well, well, sort of. Hmm. Do we want to use Kazers or HL7s? Uh, that doesn't really make itself. I strongly disagree with their choice of Tempest missiles as my only missile armament. The same they can that down there. Man, too bad I can't outfit anyone else's loadouts though. Oh. It looks like they'll at least have these because it defaulted. But, uh, I can look at them, I can't change them. Yeah, it's unfortunate everyone else is going to be stuck with Tempest. I've got the good missiles. Die! Die! Whoa. Die! Hit your fighters, pilot! Man, she even air traffic control sucks. That was a little too close. We gotta wait 15 minutes to change our shorts. Well, we've detected the Shivan presence, all right, oh, and one more Sathan is heading for Capella. Sensors reading an unidentified object dead ahead. Shivan signature. Let's get a scan of that thing, Alpha One. We'll cover your back. Picking up two more unidentified objects in the immediate vicinity. What do you think they are, Commander? What, do I look Shivan to you? Uh-oh, take a look at this. Nasos device number three, 150 clicks out in right field. Where the hell are we? This just keeps getting better. Another Juggernaut has jumped in from Nelsos 3. How close do I have to get to scan this thing? Sensor's reading a fifth Juggernaut. We got a problem here. Alright, All units return fire. IFF status has been revised. The honeymoon is over. Repeat, the honeymoon is over. Our objective here, pilots, is to neutralize all targets of opportunity before time runs out. Alpha-1, take out that device. Well, I guess we're not gonna scan it. I guess that's what the Tempest is for. Outstanding, Alpha-1. Whatever that thing was, the Sheevan's got less of them now. Let's take out what we can before we get back to the node. Oh, that works. Whatever that thing was, it explodes. Alright, so I need to blow up Sheevan devices. There's one. But I think something's trying to kill me. Oh, 
he's way over there. Enough out of you. Okay, that makes two. Good teamwork, squad. Let's go for the triple play. Seek and destroy. Ah, uh, I see my wingmates are taking care of it. Alright. Where's the rest of these things? There's one. I'll let them take care of this while I deal with these fighters. Tip for you pilots, we got 10 minutes before we jump. Don't stray too far. Did they managed to take out the other device. Come on. Oh, 5% really. Sathanus number six now in system. At this rate, we'll have a hundred juggernauts bearing down in Capella in no time. Alright, the device is still up. The two curvatures took it out before, so I'm hoping they can do it again. Oh, damn it. Man, it's gonna be hard to get over there. I know the other one just started 
Juggernaut 7 has jumped in. We've got to warn the Alliance. Don't do anything stupid. Just stay alive. So let's see. Here's a not whacked by the spinning arm. But as a compromise, well, do I have anything that's an actual bomb? I got torpedo. No, I don't. Alright, that's the closest thing I got to torpedoes. So as a compromise, I'll bring this for fighters and this for blowing up the thing. Dive! 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 Hit your fighters, pilot! Let's try this again. That was a little too close. We gotta wait 15 minutes to change our shorts. Well, we've detected a Shivan presence all right, and one more Sathan is heading for Capella. Sensors reading an unidentified object dead ahead. Shivan signature. Let's get a scan of that thing, Alpha-1. We'll cover your back. What can we see? Picking up two more unidentified objects in the immediate vicinity. What do you think they are, Commander? What, do I look Shivan to you? Uh-oh, take a look at this. Nasos device number three, 150 clicks out in right field. Where the hell are we? Yeah, it turns out they have a few. This of just them. keeps getting better. Another juggernaut has jumped in from Nasos three. Sensors reading a fifth juggernaut. We got a problem here. Return fire. IFF status has been revised. The honeymoon is over. Is Repeat, the honeymoon is players. over. Our objective here, pilots, is to neutralize all targets of opportunity before time runs out. Alpha-1, take out that device. Outstanding, Alpha-1. Whatever that thing was, the Sheevan's got less of them now. Let's take out what we can before we get back to the node. some kind of weak point that you got to hit. And otherwise, you basically have to really Somewhere in the center. primary objective. Okay, 
that makes two. Yeah, Good teamwork, is. squad. Let's go for the triple That's play. Seek and destroy. Okay. Hope I don't get blown up by the third one. Alright. Where is it? Oh, I almost had to cycle through. Come on. There it is. Man, hopefully the explosion of the third one dying isn't what kills me. That would be lame. Those things do a lot of damage when they go up. Am I outrunning this guy? Yes. Oh, they started off real close, so I have to actually deal with that. Oh, no, he's not firing. Okay. I'll take it. Go fast. All right, shields up. Here's a safety tip for you pilots. We got ten minutes before we jump. Don't stray too far. Let's not get too close to this. Hopefully I can still hit the weak point from here though. Oh, no, don't shoot me. Come on, get the weak point. So found us number six now in system. At this rate, we'll have 100 juggernauts uh, bearing down in Capella in no time. Get a little bit of good juice. Oh, that's a beam. I have to retry this mission several times. A lot just depends on getting that weak point through all the spinny arms and not getting whacked by them. You don't really have time to dogfight all the people chasing you. And then the explosion's probably gonna kill me. Angle it. Oh no, screen shake! Screen shake. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to retry this. I'm not getting it. We can just be gone with you. RNG is strong with this one. Die! Die! Just... Die! Hit your burners, pilot! I wonder if I can just order my wingman to kill it. That was a little too close. We gotta wait 15 minutes to change our shorts. Well, we've detected the Shivan presence, all right, and one more Sathana is heading for Capella. Sensors reading an unidentified object dead ahead. Sheevan's signature. Let's get a scan of that thing, Alpha-1. We'll cover your back. Picking up two more unidentified objects in the immediate vicinity. What do you think they are, Commander? What, do I look Sheevan to you? Uh-oh, take a look at this. NASA's device number three, 150 clicks out in right field. Yeah, pretty Where sure the hell right are we? Triangles on the top and bottom of the centerpiece are the weak points. This just keeps getting better. Another Juggernaut has jumped in for Nosos 3. Unfortunately, they're kind of well protected by the spinny arms, and it's hard to get an angle on them without getting whacked. 
All units return fire. IFF status has been revised. The honeymoon is over. Repeat, the honeymoon is over. Sensors reading a fifth juggernaut. We've got a problem here. Our objective here, pilots, is to neutralize all targets of opportunity before time runs out. Alpha-1, take out that device. I would love to, but this guy is not letting me. Restart just because the spinny arm took off half my head. Outstanding, Alpha One. Whatever that thing was, the Sheevan's got less of them now. Let's take out what we can before we get back to the node. Come on, get away from it, get away from it. Nope, I still got blown up. Alright. I, I need more health. I need to not dive, lose dive, half my health. Dive, right dive. Away. Hit your pilot! Harder. Ooh, that was close. This that was a little too a close. Drive. We gotta wait 15 minutes to change our shorts. Well, we've detected a Shivan presence, all right, and one more Sathan is heading for Capella. Sensors reading an unidentified object dead ahead. Shivan signature. Let's get a scan of that yeah, thing, yeah. Alpha One. We'll cover your back. Okay, I can't issue orders. Picking up two more unidentified objects in the immediate vicinity. Mm -hmm. What do you think they are, Commander? What, do I look Shivan to you? Uh-oh, take a look at this. NASA's device number three, 150 clicks out in right field. Where the hell are we? This just keeps getting better. Another juggernaut has jumped in from NASA's three. Sensors reading a fifth juggernaut. We've got a problem here. All units return fire. IFF status has been revised. The honeymoon is over. Repeat, the honeymoon is over. Our objective here, pilots, is to neutralize all targets of opportunity before time runs out. Alpha One, take out that device. Outstanding, Alpha One. Whatever that thing was, the Sheevan's got less of them now. Let's take out what we can before we get back to the node. You know what? Only 8%? I'll take it. Cross-missile massacre. That makes two. Good teamwork, oh. squad. Let's go for the triple play. Seek and destroy. I guess the just went straight for that thing. I'll take it. How about you stop shooting at my wing? Where is that? 
caffeine. Shit. I wish they had put it in my escort list so I could just find it. There it is. I'll just order my wingman to go after that, and I'll take care of these fighters. Let's see if that works. Since they seem to be better at hitting the weak point than I am. Safety tip for you pilots, we got 10 minutes before we jump. Don't stray too far. Oh, looks like they're not getting the weak one on this one, but they're doing a pretty good job of just destroying it the old fashioned way. Sathanas number six now in system. At this rate, we'll have a hundred juggernauts bearing down in Capella in no time. work, Alpha Wing. Makes me proud to be SOC. Right. Now let's get back to the node. Binary systems, give me the creeps. Let's see if we can just outrun these guys. Looks like we're leaving them behind. That's a lot of explosion. Oh, we're not outrunning these guys. Uh, that's a problem. Where are we? 800. Juggernaut 7 has jumped in. We've got to warn the Alliance. Don't do anything stupid. Just stay alive. Alright, we're cleanly outrunning them. Let's go. Zoom, zoom.
Right under the node. Why? Oh, do I have to wait for everyone else to get here? Here I thought I was done. I have to fight these guys after all. Alright. Almost got him. Clock is down to five minutes. Get ready to make our run. I'm picking up Sathana's eight now. Oh, that's really. Alright. Uh, okay, yeah, there's no enemies left near us. We're just waiting for the order to jump out. Unless we have to take out Reaver 5, who's 10 clicks away, but I don't think so. Yeah, we're playing sheep and ships right now, so... I, had, I did not realize we had run out of hostile sheep and ships to kill. have to wait the whole five minutes, we can just leave. No? I swear to god, if I actually have to blow up that ship, I will be incredibly disappointed. The mission is hard enough without me having to take out every single fighter. Surely I can leave one behind. Sensors, number nine. Oh, there we go. Something happening. Yeah, they've got a lot of Two minutes and counting. Scramble to the node, Alpha. We're at the node. <laughs> Uh, I guess we have to save for the whole duration so that we can see just how many they have. Oh, well, now they fought. They fought some enemies for us to fight.
Jump drives will come online in one minute. Stand by to engage. We got incoming. Ravana class cruiser, designation Neberos. Hit your burners and evade. We gotta reach that jump note, kids. Avoid the All beam right. salvos off that destroyer. We're almost there. Stay inside the node. You miss your window, oh, you're MIA. Alpha Wing, we're in the node and drives are back online. We'll rendezvous with the recovery right, ship on the go. other side. Engage! Oh, that was awkward. Outstanding job. Most pilots only fly one suicide mission. We survived what should have been our last sortie. I've advised the GTVI that multiple Juggernaut-class warships are now en route to the Capella system. We'll have our hands full getting everyone out of there alive. Great work neutralizing those Sheevan devices. We delivered a top-notch performance. Analysts are pouring over the scan data now, but you can rest assured the results will be classified beyond your level of clearance. They always are. One more thing. We're helping to provide the Alliance with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTBA. You are hereby awarded the SOC Service Medallion, the most prestigious honor bestowed by Special Operations Command. Congratulations. It's been a privilege and an honor, pilot. Allied Command has reassigned you to the GTD Aquitaine. Rumor has it you'll be leading the 70th Blue Lions, and I can't think of a better pilot for the job. Good luck. Yeah, we did it. We blew up the things, we counted the juggernauts, and now we're back on the Aquitaine. Welcome back to the Aquitaine. Because of your outstanding service to the Alliance, GTVA has granted you command of your own elite fighter squadron, 70 of the Blue Lions. This is quite an honor, pilot. Receive all your briefings directly from Quarterdeck. As squadron leader of the Blue Lions, you will be granted the highest priority in ship and weapon selection, but choose your ordinance carefully. Review the tech room database if you have any questions. So if I understand correctly, now we basically for the Nine most part, we'll have more or less free selection to use whatever we want to do. And intelligence is sighted even more in the nebula, converging on the jump node to tear in the suit in space. We are on the threshold of the new apocalypse. Though the juggernauts have not engaged our warships, they have set course for the Capella Star. We can only speculate about our intentions. This development cannot bode well for the Alliance. Allied Command is committed to evacuating all non-essential personnel. The contingency plan is in the works. Hold the Sheevans here in Capella. Prevent the expansion of the Sheevan incursion to other systems of the GTVA. The 70th Blue Lions will provide the fighter cover needed to get our convoys out of the system. Millions of lives are at stake here, pilot. If we fail, all our worlds and systems will be in jeopardy. The GTVA has just unveiled the newly developed Marinese class heavy assault fighter. With eight gun banks, You'll have sufficient firepower to make short work of enemy targets at close range. The Arrhenius can accommodate fire control for up to two different primary systems. You may need to allocate more power to weapons to fight effectively, so make adjustments as needed. You have also been issued the GTW UD-08 Kaiser. For its limited optival period, only select units will be authorized to carry this weapon. The 
Kaiser emits focused wavelets of subatomic particles that bombard the target, causing the wave function of the particles to collapse and emit intense zero-point energy microbursts. The Kaiser is the product of our research into Shivan weapon technology. Finally, we have received the new GTM-11 Inferno, a wide-area fighter suppression warhead. Use the Inferno, press your secondary trigger once to launch the missile, then press it again to detonate. The HUD indicator will display the distance of the warhead from your ship. Upon detonation, the Inferno releases multiple submunitions, which themselves contain ultra-high explosive charges. As we speak, convoys of transports, freighters, and medical ships are heading for the jump nodes to Vega and Epsilon Pegasi. The evacuation of civilian personnel proceeds on schedule, but the enemy offensive has intensified. We have blockaded the Gamma Draconis node, though Sheevan forces are swarming into the system. The 53rd will relieve the 309th of the Gamma Draconis node and will deploy the 19th to hold down the 4 to 3rd Fleet headquarters as we evacuate non-essential personnel. Command needs a closer look at the Juggernaut, so we'll be sending in the 91st. The 70th Blue Lions will be sortied to the Epsilon Pegasi node. Blue Lions, your mission is to escort a four-ship convoy to Epsilon Pegasi. The group consists of civilian transports Lambda-1 and 2, GTF Sulla and the medical ship GTM Vesalius. All have minimal armaments and vulnerable hull plating. The GVC Neptu leads the escort. At 14.15 hours, the Sheevan Corvette Abraxas and a wing of Manticore fighters attacked the convoy. The Neptune called for assistance, so you're going in. The other wing will stand by to reinforce your position. Call them in at your discretion. Good luck, pilots. People of Capella are counting on you. All right, I think we can save that one for next week. So, next time we're here, we're going to be escorting civilians as we evacuate the Capella system. Thank you everyone who joined, and I hope you all have a good day.